Hello and thank you for visiting my channel, Miami Star Tarot. I am doing a reading for Scorpios today. This is a love reading and it is in honor of our Hunter's Full Moon tomorrow for Halloween. Also known also for this at the cycle for as a Taurus Full Moon. Um, I This is a timeless read, but I just thought it'd be fun to do it here for the end of the month and throw that energy out there. Um, I am going to be using the Moonology Oracles. I'm going to be using the Angel Answers Oracles and the Rider Way Original Tarot to get my readings going. I am going to start, Scorpio, with getting a Moonology Oracle for you to set the tone for our reading. All right, so let's see what we have for love for Scorpio. We've had some interesting reads today already. Let me get one card here just need one card one card for Scorpio please they're just shuffling away then Nothing's been, nothing very um, important, I guess, is lingering about. Just want a card to pop out, a card that wants to be heard. Anyone want to be heard? Any messages for Scorpios? Just for Scorpio, please. I'm going to take a card from the center after this one shuffle. Okay. All right. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon, Scorpio. Okay. So we have that for our Moonology Oracle. And it's first quarter moon, so I guess we need a... Oh, with the new moon. Okay, here we go. We need an Angel Answers Oracle. Got two, I will take them. All right, Scorpio, we have remain positive and no need to worry. There we go. So hard to see because in the uh, camera they show, it's kind of backwards, so. All right, remain positive, no need to worry, but your commitment's being tested. All right, let's see what that's about, Scorpio. Let me shuffle these cards. All right, so who's being tested, you or your person? Let's get some good energy here, Scorpio. Oh, someone doesn't want to talk. Energy is being really holding. It's almost like keeping quiet. Jeez. Okay. Got to get these cards to open up. There we go. Let's do one more. One good, one more good one. Right, here we go. We're going to get six cards from the deck. I want to get flyers. Scorpio, what do we have going on for you and love? That's too many. I can't take that many. Ooh, 
There you go. Okay. There is your commitments definitely being tested. That's what we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. <laughs> Whoa. You are definitely being tested. Okay. And you know what? You've got the Emperor up there. Good. That, that means that, you know, you're going to have practice some self control here. Um, okay. Or the other person is is the one that's going to be tested and you need to be the emperor and you know take control all right here we go wow oh my gosh you, there is a lot going on here you have the magician and the emperor and you have the queen of cups okay a lot of love in the air a lot of lust in the air too okay um there we go, got the sixth card. All right. Okay, I am getting a very strong, almost balanced, equal energy between you and your person, okay? Um, and when I mean a balanced energy, I mean this can go two ways. And again, you know, you, you read the roles as you see fit within your own relationship. Um, I feel like there's a 50-50% chance that half of you are experiencing it as the receive, at the receiving end. The other half is causing some of these, um, some of this distrust, okay? Um, I definitely see opportunities for lust and opportunities of emotions and feeling um, like a connection to to somebody else. So I think this kind of resonates a little bit stronger for people who already are in a relationship, okay? Um, either you are feeling a very strong pull towards somebody and it's you are almost like if you haven't already crossing the line with your lust and your feelings for this other person, okay? You have the card of lust, sorry, here we go, and you have the card of deep emotions and like, it's almost like, I don't wanna say it's obsessive, but it's, it's almost like you just cannot contain your excitement for this person and they really make you feel so many things. They make you feel alive, okay? And you know, you, you can understand how those feelings can sometimes happen, but it looks like this is a little overwhelming for you. You have two nights together. You have the, the night of passion, sorry, night of passion and the, the night of emotions and love. There's a lot of emotions wrapped up here, okay? And sometimes when there's too many emotions involved, things can get a little explosive if you're not careful, okay? So for Scorpios, that is what I'm seeing. So it's either you or the, or the other person. You apply the roles as you see fit, okay? Now, you also have the Emperor energy, which is, uh, a, and you have two major arcana cards. You have, and this is control. The Emperor has to control the situation. The Emperor sets the tone, okay? So you're going to have to rein it in. If you are the person that is has a wandering eye. It looks like it's more than a wandering eye, though. I have to say that. It seems like you're, you have invested some emotions in this, and you're letting it take control of you. You need to bring this. Um, this is the father, and this is the king of kings, and this is the person in com of complete control over something. You need to bring this energy in. Now, if you are the person that is more or less the, at the receiving end of your person being in love or pursuing somebody else, then you're going to have to put on that emperor cap and you're going to have to dictate what you want to happen in your relationship. If you're going to allow this to happen, put a stop to it, however it is that you want to handle it. But with this emperor card here, it means that you need to take on the role and you need to handle it. Okay? Whatever end you're in on it, you need to handle it. It's, this is kind of like a warning that if you want things to not get out of control, then you need to handle it. I can't say any more than that, okay? Down here, you have the other card 
in the Major Arcana, which is the card of control. You have the you have everything you need to take charge. You have everything you need to handle the situation, as I said, with the Emperor. Your commitment is definitely being tested. Now, if you are a person that is, um, I think, at the receiving end of things, you have the ability. I don't think all is lost. I think if you're the receiver of, um, you know, your partner's kind of out there doing something, you have to, if you want your relationship to work, you have to become the emperor and you have to use, uh, the, the, the magician's a very smart person, okay? The magician has all the tools they need to get through things and they can also manifest things, okay? They don't give up very easily. If you want to try to keep this relationship going, I think you're going to have to kind of pull out your bag of tricks, okay? And you're going to have to take control. You have the two control cards in the major arcana cards, okay? So I feel it's very important for you if you want to keep your relationship intact, even after, even knowing that your other person, significant other, is out there, you're going to have to use your bag of tricks. You're going to have to put a stop to it. And you're going to have to put your foot down to make it end. Okay? Also, if you want to get out and you're like, screw this, I don't need this. This also can apply to this bottom row right here. You have the magician. You can create whatever you want for yourself for the future. Okay? You, if you cut ties with this person and you said, you know what, you want to take your fantasies, you want to take your love somewhere else, go ahead, be my guest. Be the emperor, cut it out. It's not serving you. Goodbye. You know, you, you can have that kind of an attitude. And then you can revert back to the magician now and you can recreate the type of love, the type of relationship environment that you want for yourself. Okay? Remain positive. Are you going to find somebody else? Sometimes, you know, people need a little time to get over, especially if they've been burned, they need a little bit of time. And, you know, sometimes you have a hard time with trust and things like that, but no worries. You don't need to worry. That's the other Oracle that you got. You have the queen of cups. You will love again. If, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Um, it shows a queen, but this queen is more about being understanding, nurturing yourself, um, allowing your emotions to come out. Okay, and it's, it's more of being like inside of you, like healing your inside and loving and being able to express love and all that. And if you're male, this can still apply to you. So yes, just remain positive. You can come out of this winning. You decide to get rid of the other person. You will come out winning. Now, if you're the person that's dishing it out and you're the one that is causing all of this, I feel that it's the scenario is just slightly different for you. If you're the one dishing it out, your significant other may end up cutting you out of their life. I have a feeling that it kind of leans a little bit stronger that way with you guys, Scorpio. If you're the one that is causing this and doing this, there's more of a likely chance that this person is going to just cast you out and say, I'm done, and they're going to they're going to move ahead and you're going to end up emotional. And in this case, I don't read cards backwards, but I, I can usually tell when they should be. In this case, it's going to be like this for you. You're going to be the queen of cups that's going to lose your shit. Okay, you're going to miss them. You're going to decide, oh my God, why did I do that? Why was I blind? Why did I get blinded by this other person? It wasn't worth it, but it's going to be too late and you're going to have to just decide how you're going to recreate your life without them and learn from this mistake. Okay, so if you're the disher, you're the one dishing it out, I feel like the chances of you losing this person are much higher than if you're the one that's receiving it because I feel that your ability to forgive is going to be higher than the other person's. So this card here with the three of wands, it's it's very emotional, even though the cups are emotional, but this one can be as well. And I feel like you're just going to have to recreate your life 
by yourself. And you're going to have to really look out and think, what do I want? What, how do I want to go ahead with my life? What do I need to do to be happy? And you're just going to have to just pursue life alone for a little bit until, you know, you decide that you know what you want and move ahead. Now, if it's you or the other person that is obsessed right now, lusting after another person um, behind your partner's back, it is not going to be a long term. So my warning to you is, you know, if it's you doing it, is this person, your immediate feelings right now that you feel, is this person worth losing the person you have? Is what I have to ask. If you're on the receiving end, you need to ask yourself, is my relationship with this person doing this to me worth staying around? Sticking around for? So I think there are a lot of things that you need to decide on your own. Um, I do I do agree with the oracle that um, you need to remain positive because if you are the person on the receiving end, you will love again, love will come your way again, and you don't need to worry about that. If you're ever going to find somebody, you will, and things will work out for you in the end, okay? Um, I feel like if you are the person dishing it out, the oracle's not going to stand very well for you. You probably do need to worry if you're, if you're that you are going to lose the person that you are cheating on, okay? So Scorpio, that is all I have for you. Please leave me some feedback. I would love um, some support with a thumbs up and maybe subscribing to my channel. Thank you for visiting my channel, Miami Star Tarot. Bye-bye, Scorpios.